Hi everybody! In this video, I'm going to be demonstrating how to build a scoring model using Y charts. Our scoring models can be used in a number of our tools, including the Equity or Fund Screener, but for demonstration purposes, I'm going to show you the model using our Comp Tables tool. For this example, I'm going to start by adding a list of companies, and I'll just add those included in the S&P 500. Now, to add a scoring model to these companies, I'm going to go to the Scoring Model option. It's going to give me two choices. I have the option to open a previously saved model, which I can find in here, or any scoring model that have been shared with me by any of my team members. But for this demo, I'm going to go ahead and create a new scoring model. So let's say I want to look at undervalued companies. The first thing I should do is just give the scoring model a name. Let's say undervalue. Then choose what kind of scoring model this is. I can choose either percentile, rank, or score, but I'm just going to go ahead and stick with rank for this video. So now to build the model, I can go ahead and add any score component found within our financial metrics. There are two ways to find a metric. You can either search for them along the top or click into one of our categories. In my case, as I want to look at undervalued companies, the criteria I'm going to start off using is revenue, quarterly, year-over-year -year growth, and I want this to be higher. Then a new feature on our scoring models is this null values component. What this is going to do is tell the model how you want to interpret null values. For instance, if a company is missing a data point, then you can choose the model to interpret it as either min, max, mean, which will just be an average for the whole list, or a zero. I'm also going to consider net income, year-over-year, -year, quarterly growth over that same time period. That score I also want to be higher. And for my third component, I'm going to look at one-year price returns. And then I'm going to change this option now to lower. So what I'm essentially looking for is companies that have seen their revenue and net income grow year-over-year However, they haven't seen spectacular price returns over that same time period. So the last step is going to be adding weights for my criteria in the scoring model. I'm just going to divide it equally, so 33 for revenue, 33 for income, and then 34 for my price return. And then I'm going to go ahead and click Add Score Column. And as you can see, it's going to compute my criteria into the undervalue score and rank these companies that I have pulled up in my comp tables. And if I just click on the title, I can sort these ranks from 1 through 500. From here, if you want to add any other financial metric, say I want to pull up some of my underlying score components, I can do so in my search bar next to metrics. And from there, I can add that revenue, quarterly growth, and one year price return. That way I can see the underlying values of the scoring model, or I can add in any other relevant metrics you'd like to see. So with that said, I hope you found this walkthrough useful. Of course, if you have any other questions, you can find us if you hover over support, hit the contact us, and you can live chat, send us a message, or see the contact information for your dedicated support representative below.